Mike here, Fitzgerald Buick GMC in Rockville, doing a video walkthrough of this newly arrived 2021 Yukon uh, SLT. One next to it is going to be an XL. Uh, this one's a 2020. Um, one of the things you notice is it does have chrome rims. This one has more of a polished aluminum rim. Um, still very pretty, just not shiny. I, I find those to be a little bit too ostentatious. It, it sticks out too much. I don't like them. I like that more. Uh, if they were flatter, I would like them even better. But, you know, can't always get everything we want, right? That right there was the auto start feature you can find on the key fob. One more click will cut the engine. Uh, <laughs> this morning it started... Whoop, there we go. So don't hit it twice, just hit it once. Uh, this morning started off very cold, um, so I would have used the auto start to heat the car up. But right now, with how sunny and hot it is... I would use it to uh, run the air conditioning before we got into it. Um, we did get this traded in from another dealership. The last one we got traded in uh, was a Yukon Denali 2021. Um, we got it traded in from North Carolina. We had it on the lot for three days before it sold. The 2021 years are incredibly scarce right now. Um, GM has had a hard time in between COVID and the worker strike. Uh, just pumping out an adequate, an adequate amount of them. And I'm sure you'll notice that by doing your search on the internet, that there's just not very many of these. Got the Bose premium sound system in this, lumbar support. Like a light tan, um, mm. light cream interior on the inside here. Um, walnut accents, electronic parking brake here. Um, putting in an auto will keep it in two-wheel drive most of the time and the vehicle will save you money on gas. The vehicle will kick into four-wheel drive if it senses any slippage. As you can see, it does come with the trailering package. Uh, lane keep alert, parking, automatic stop start, and that's for the house plug that's in the center console there. Do have a heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, cruise control, um, voice commands, phone, GMC welcome string, super cool, and then you got it in there too. Um, of course, with the uh, keyless entry, got to have the push to start ignition. But with a plan from Maryland Health Connection, you can be prepared. So one of the key differences with this versus the Denali trim level and the Denali trim level, the console will be a little bit more integrated. I like this though. It, I mean, it sticks up a little bit, but not a huge deal. I like it. It looks good. All right, so we got the wireless charging pad, as you can see right here. Uh, micro USB, USB charging. Um, you got your standard DC plug as well. Um, you can operate the rear climate and the total climate controls from right here. You can also do it from the home screen, which I'll show you in a second. Got uh, heated and cooled seats here. I um, should probably turn that off. I definitely don't want the hot air to be blasting. Center console right here. You got your secondary smartphone holder. Got a console organizer here, but this does go super deep, so... You can probably put a purse in here, backpack, something like that. Um, Alright, let's show you the rest of this here. Got the Wi-Fi hotspot, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, phone connectivity, audio. Um, with that, uh, you got the Sirius AM, FM, um, HD radio, which is great. That'll really help you to optimize the, um, the Bose sound system. Alright can operate the climate control like I told you from the center console here. Um, you can also lock your kids out in case they like to futz with the climate control. I'm going to show you this here. No more shifter knob. The uh, 2020 and beyond models will have um, the push and pull buttons. As you can see, this one does come equipped with the uh, 360 surround vision, which is fantastic. Uh, for a vehicle this big, it is, you know, a little bit difficult to maneuver, a little bit difficult to park, even if you're used to it. So this really prevents you, and it does have the alert seat. Um, you see how that yellow arrow just popped up? My seat just vibrated. That's always a very pleasant, interesting surprise. There you have the forward and backward collision sensors. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cut the engine. Um, oh, I forgot to show you this. So you do have uh, operation, I think this is, I can't remember if it's the second or third row seats. Um, but you do have operation for that. I'm going to show you the massive, massive sunroof that this comes with. It goes all the way backwards to the second row. Um, it's huge. It's called the Skyscape sunroof. As you can see here on the second row, we do have the uh, smart pa uh, the panels, the entertainment system. So let's go to the second row here, and I'll show that to you, show that off a little bit. 
dark sky metallic paint. Uh, so it's blue, sparkles in the sunlight, really pretty. Right, trying to open this second door here without knocking into anything. Got the second row, you see you already got the all weather mats installed for your kids that will get your car muddy or for your friends that will also equally get your car muddy. Got the house plug back here, HDMI connections, micro USB connections, and heated second row seats, which is fantastic. Um, with the smart panels in the back here, um, you can play. Oh, look at me, I'm beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. Um, with the second row panels here, uh, you can send requests for pit stops uh, to the driver on the navigation screen, which is very helpful. So let's say your friends are hungry, your kids are hungry, whatever. Somebody's hungry or somebody needs to stop at the gas station. Maybe grandma needs to stop at the gas station, get some coffee, uh, go to the bathroom. You can send the request through the smart panel screen to the driver. Um, obviously, you can also play all sorts of entertainment through this. Stream your podcast, uh, stream your, uh, your Netflix, um, your Amazon Prime, your Hulu, all that type of stuff. Trailer hitch will be underneath this uh, gorgeous cover right here. Let's pop this up. Uh, the trunk is programmable, so if you're on the short side, no, don't worry. We can program the trunk. Very simple. You just hold down the trunk button, and the vehicle will beep. Um, got the floor mats back here. Show you the storage space. And this, this storage space is a little bit shallow. I think the concept was to just put this cover up and then put your luggage here. Um, you know how the wheels can sometimes scratch up the carpeting, but it's about one chip bag um, in depth. So if you're a Chipotle fan like I am, you gotta keep your chips. Uh, the Dori uh, the um, Tostitos hint of lime with the guacamole is fantastic. Third row goes up and down electronically. Okay. Now the second row, that only goes down and kicks up electronically. To get it back into place, I'll show you right now. To get it back into place, you will have to use your hands. Come on, baby, kick up. There we go. There's it kicking up slowly but surely. It's going to make it. It's going to make it. And it has made it. There we go. Uh, anyways, my name is Mike. Please call me as soon as possible. We need to schedule your test drive today. 301-770-3300. We're going to have this car for less than a week. I guarantee it. 301-770-3300. Talk to you soon.